up your hand. God bless you there. God bless you there. Online too. The Lord wants to give you a clear court conversion and salvation. Raise up that hand. If you are raising up your hand, God bless you. Stand up. We are going to pray together. You are raising up your hand. You say, Lord, I abandon the past. I come to the new life. Raise up your hand wherever you are and stand up, stand up, stand up. Standing up for Jesus, standing up for his grace, trans standing up in faith, knowing that as many as believed on him, to them he gave the privilege and the power to become the sons of God, the daughters of God too, and as many as believed on him. Where are you? You're raising up your hand, you're standing up. While you're standing up, tell the Lord, Oh Lord, I want this unique grace to come into my life. Tell him, your mercy to forgive to come into my life. Your compassion that saves a wretch like me Give me that compassion and the transformation, that change that comes as a result of believing on the Lord Jesus Christ. Grant me that forgiveness, the freedom, that newness of life. He'll give it to you. Tell him, tell him. The grace that comes. Not to gloss over our sins, but to set us free from sin. I'll do that now. You say, Lord, I've confessed and I forsake and I believe. And it will be done in your life. Round of the prayer and say, Lord, I thank you. I believe. My sins are forgiven. Lord, I believe. The condemnation is taken away. Lord, I believe. A new life has come unto me. Tell him. And when you say that, accept that, hold on to that, and believe your name is now written in heaven. I'm praying for you now. Raise up that hand if you've dropped the hand. Raise it up, raise it up. Thank you, God bless you. Father, you're loving God, compassionate God, merciful God. And you're merciful to the sins and to the sinners so that as we call upon you, even the chiefest of sinners, the greatest of sinners, the vilest of sinners, your forgiveness comes to them right now. Manifest, Lord, that you need grace, that universal grace in the heart, in the life of everyone now, in Jesus' name. Let the joy of salvation, the joy of conversion, the joy of transformation come in every life now, in Jesus' name. The grace now to continue living in new life. Converted life. A shining, bright life. And a life that has been withdrawn from sin. Give to everyone now in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray your people will go out for the joy of salvation. The joy of conversion. The joy of a new life. That everybody will see, even on their faces, in their lives, in their new pattern of life, a change has taken place. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Say, thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. God bless you. Keep on standing 
Our counselors will come to you there and your name is already written in heaven and we want to write your name and do what heaven has done concerning you so that it will keep you in fellowship and will keep you uh, discipled and developing in the Lord. Uh, let's take these uh, few minutes and let's have your name and your details. The Lord bless you. Also, those online will be showing you, uh, you know, the number you have to send your details to. The Lord bless everyone. Amen. You are welcome to the kingdom of God. The Lord who has saved you will keep you in Jesus' name. Our counselors are by you. Provide necessary information to them so that we continue to follow you up to help you in your newfound faith. As we attend to the young converts, those of us who are there, just start thanking God because tonight the Lord is going to touch you. He is going to touch you. If you are watching online or you gave your life to Christ after the pastor's message this evening, there is a link Below your, below your player, click it and fill out the form so that we can assist you further in your new work with Christ. Also, if you are listening via radio or television and you have just given your life to Christ, send your name, your phone number, your location address via SMS or WhatsApp to plus two three four nine one five zero 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 nine two six three. I repeat plus two three four nine one five four four four. 9263. There will be a special meeting. Lunch hour with Jesus. Tomorrow, for those who have just given their lives to the Lord now, there's a big tent by my right hand side after the building there by 3 p.m. tomorrow. We expect you will be there. Because there is much to still be done in your life. There are materials we also give to you to help you in your faith. There will be a special believers banquet for all those who gave their lives to Christ during this crusade. On Sunday, the 6th of October, 2024, in all our churches globally. More details about this will be sent to you. A pastor will be delighted to have you join this special banquet. For those who are in our far location here, there's banquet on the 20, on the 16th of October. 2024 at 63 Ubie Streets, a other town here. We expect you will be there so that the Lord will bless you. 3 p.m. also is the time we expect you will be there. Counselors are by you there as they attend to you. Get set for further blessing from the Lord. The Lord is going to meet all your need. He has met your spiritual need. He will also meet your physical need. He will touch you tonight. 
And you will never, never remain the same by the grace of God. The blind we see tonight, the deaf we hear tonight, the lame we jump up and start leaping. They start jumping here and there. The Lord is going to do it in your life. Get ready for God's visitation. The Lord will visit you. Just continue telling whatsoever problem you have, today is your last day. Be saying bye-bye to them because you will see them no more. The Lord will take them away. Cancel us if you are finished where you are counseling, where you are attending to others. Go to other, look, uh, other side where people are still there that have not been attended today. You wait where you are. Don't move away from the last place you attend to people because God is going to use you as the lame is there. Just give your hand to them. By God's grace, the power of God will lift them up. And they start walking. The blind, you will try to give them something to see. Then they will shout, I can see. Then you bring them out. The, the, those who are deaf, you speak to their ear. They've never heard since they became deaf. Tonight they will hear. Tonight they will hear. The Lord is going to touch everyone because of the special anointing. Every yoke will be broken in the lives of everyone in Jesus' name. Cancel us. If the location where you are, you finish there, lift up what you have there, maybe a balloon, or you have there a flag, you raise it up to signify that you finish canceling so that the man of God will come forward to pray for us. And through the anointing tonight, every yoke will be broken. Every yoke will be broken. The yoke in your life will be broken. You will not see them again. They are leaving you tonight. At my right hand side, if you finish, can you indicate? At the middle, at the extreme, middle, if you finish, can you indicate? At my left, le left hand side, if you finish, can you indicate, please? Thank you. I can see you waving there. What about the left hand side? My own left hand side. At my right hand side, your left hand side.
Remember lunch hour with Jesus tomorrow, 3 p.m. in a large tent by my right hand side after the building there. Make sure by God's grace you are there. My right hand side, if you finish. At the middle here, at the extreme middle, if you finish. Those at the right hand side, you finish with something. Okay. At the middle now. Towards the extreme back. Counselors, let's quickly round up. Attend to every convert diligently. Take their telephone number. Don't miss any digits, 11 digits. Write their names clearly in capital letters. At the back of the middle, uh, the back of the middle, okay. Those listening to us over radio, television, the telephone number displayed on the screen, you telephone it. Send necessary information to us via WhatsApp for further help. If you are true at the middle, wave your hand to me or wave whatsoever well indicates you are waving your hand to me.
return the slip to your supervisor, we take it to the appropriate quarter. At the right airstream, at the back of the right hand side, please wave your hand or a piece of paper, whatsoever you are giving, to indicate so that we know you are finished counseling. Okay, thank you very much. Let's rise up now. Let's rise up now as the man of God comes up now. <clears throat> Amen. Amen. My time has come. Time has come. Healing. Amen. Deliverance. Amen. Redemption. Amen. Miracle. Amen. Is coming your way. Amen. Behold, I give unto you power. To trudge on your serpents, or your sickness, and scorpion, and demons, and over all the power of the enemy. And nothing, help me shout nothing. nothing. Nothing, shout nothing. Shall by any means hurt you. Every hurt will be taken away from your life. Harm, taken away from your life. Sickness, taken away from your life. Demon attack. Demon oppression, everything is broken right now. Yeah. Your blind eyes will see. Yeah. Your lame legs will receive strength. Yeah. We that hands will be made whole. Yeah. New life in every cell of your body. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Raise up that hand. Let the other hand on your sail a miracle will get to you right there and after the final amen check up those serpents as compiers are gone after the final amen all the things that hurt you harm you you'll check up they'll vanish away joy tonight Jubilation tonight. Rejoicing because of the power of God in your life tonight in Jesus' name. Raise up that hand. Your miracle is ready and you're ready for your miracle. Father, in Jesus' name. We know that name will never fail. That name will destroy all the works of the devil. That name will bring healing, deliverance, freedom, and redemption. Every part of the body tonight, in Jesus' name. I pray, Lord, the healing virtue of Jesus Christ will flow on everyone. From the top of the head to the tip of the toe. Miracle for everyone here tonight in Jesus' name. Those blind eyes, I command you, be opened and see clearly. Deaf ears, be opened and receive your hearing clearly in Jesus' name. Dumb tongues, speak out. Ulcer, be healed. Cancer, be healed. Arthritis, be healed. Lameness be healed and all the pains in your joints, any part of your body be healed in Jesus' name. Anything wrong with your blood, blood clotting, or high blood pressure, sugar, and blood, whatever, be healed in Jesus' name. And I pray you cancel and destroy every work of the devil. Search everyone free miracle everywhere yeah. healing everywhere yeah. to my right to my left at the back in the middle in the front 
healing for everyone in Jesus name online everywhere I pray that the healing virtue of Christ will flow to everyone right now in Jesus name over the radio or the television those who are watching Lord I pray this will be the moment of miracle power demonstration manifestation in every life in Jesus name confirm it on everyone testimony from the left hand side there right hand side there testimony in the middle in front testimony everywhere the joy of the Lord and the joy of healing received deliverance received miracle received that joy everywhere right now in Jesus name thank you Lord thank you Lord join me and thank you and thank God thank you Lord in Jesus name we pray amen amen check up yourself now you'll find your miracle has come to you those blind eyes open those blind eyes deaf ears speak to them let them hear your name your paralyzed whatever you can now rise up and walk i have already spoken to the lord and the lord has showered his miracle healing upon you amen Thank you, Lord. Just said, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. It has been done. It has taken place already. How do you thank the Lord? You thank him by coming out to give your testimony. You thank him by shouting wherever you are now to show your excitement and every other thing. You thank the Lord now, right now, Start reacting now to show your thanks to the Lord. Wherever you are, start coming out now for your testimony. Start coming out. Start coming out. Start coming out. If God has touched you wherever you are, you just show it by saying thank you, Lord. And as you do that, you start coming out. Yes, the Lord is doing it right in our midst. Right there, you start coming out. Those who already have been interviewed and you have been told we give testimony today for past GCK, come out here now. Start coming out, start coming out. It's happening there. It's happening there. Start coming out, start coming out. Check yourself and start coming out. Start coming out. You give glory to God by coming out to give your testimony. You give him glory. Start coming out, start coming, start coming out. The Lord has blessed you already. Jump out of your wheelchair and start coming out. Open your blind eyes and start coming out. He has done it in your life. Start coming out, start coming, start coming out. Start coming, start coming, start coming. To my left hand side, the testimony stand. All our leaders who are appointed to uh, interview them, go there now and do the work. Start coming out, start coming, start coming out. Show the joy of what God has done in your life. Start coming out. Come out briskly. Come out to give your testimony. The world wants to hear your testimony. God has done it. Yes. It's taking place there. Come out, come out, come out, come out, come out. Start coming out. Start moving out. Now as the orchestra gives us just a piece now, in your joy, you start coming out. You start moving out. Start coming out. Start coming out. 
testimony in your life, in your mouth, start coming out. Orchestra, let's rejoice. Let's celebrate with those the Lord has touched.
Come out, come out. We are waiting for you. God has done great things in your life. He has done it in your life already.
He has done great things. We listen now to great things he has done online. He sent forth his word and healed them globally. Praise the Lord. Whenever God's servant prays, the wonders from God's grace is felt from the Alpha location to the rest of the globe. And the online community is not left out. Stay tuned as we bring you striking testimonies from the online community. From the DCLM YouTube, Bro Haruna Onimisi wrote, I've been having mouth order for over 40 years, but after the prayer of the man of God at the final amen, everything disappeared. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. From the DCLM YouTube, Emi Oladeindi says, Praise the Lord. My daughter fell and the leg got swollen with pus. I told her to lay her hands on the leg this night. After the prayer of the man of God, the pain went away and the pus came out. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Favor Obona also from this CLM YouTube. Praise God. My name is Sister Favor Godde from Enugu. The Lord healed me from severe pain on my breastbone during last month's JCK. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Still on our YouTube channel, Ajaba Ushie is basking in the euphoria of his testimony. He says, Praise the Lord. I want to sincerely thank God of all possibilities for healing me from high blood pressure and chronic migraine that has lasted for long now. Praise the Lord. On the GCK YouTube, Abigail Adewuni Oni. I've had serious chest pain on the right side of my chest for almost a year now. But after the prayer of the man of God, I got healed perfectly. We now bring you this striking testimony of what seemed like 20 fruitless years. Edo State, South South Nigeria, broadcasting live. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My name is Peace James. I'm here to testify the goodness of God in my life, what the God did for me. After putting bait of my first daughter, she was 20 years. So after 20 years, I have a fibroid in my stomach. So after I went to the hospital, a doctor operated me. He said, I will not have a child again. So since that day, there's no issue of a child. So one day, one pastor come and preach for me. As he preached for me, I follow him to deeper life. As I follow him to deeper life, I used to follow him all to attend all the crusade. So they, they now announced they do crusade. After they announced they do crusade, so I, I agreed to follow him to a do crusade. After I went there, Pastor GA said, lay your hand for when you have a challenge. I lay my hand one up, I lay the other one on in my stomach. After the lay of my hand on my stomach, as I come back home that month, from that October, so I did not see my period till the court visited me that day. See, I put this, my uh, baby, I, I put to uh, bed June, June of this year. Praise the Lord! Before we go back to the moderating overseer, we also bring you these striking testimonies from the online audience. From this CLM YouTube, Apoka Diola is testifying and he said, I want to thank God for his healing touch upon my life since 2016. I've been suffering from chronic headache and depression, which makes me eat drugs like daily food. But since the prayer of the man of God, I've been healed. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. There is a wanker also from DCLM YouTube says, Praise the Lord. I've been having this serious cough and respiratory problem since early this year, which defied diagnosis. But after the prayer of the man of God today, I am healed. Praise the Lord. From the DCLM YouTube, Miracle Okoro is testifying. I was having abdominal pain, but as he was declaring from above, I placed my hand on my abdomen 
and I felt something disappear, and the pains are no more. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Magdalene Bisong also wrote, Praise God for healing me from waist pain of over 10 years after the prayer of the man of God. To God be the glory. Praise the Lord. We now return you to the moderating overseer. We're listening to testimony from your far location now. As you are there, join them for interview. Praise the Lord. I am Sister Florence Chisa. By his grace, I'm saved. I'm from my other region. Ekpena Church and Ochoma District. Praise the Lord. I am here to give my testimony what the Lord has done for me. In 2002 GCK, when Baba Kumui finished his GCK that last Tuesday of uh, 2000. 222 GCK. I was doing business. I'm a businesswoman. Anybody who knows me knows me as a businesswoman. But Satan planned against my business to fall me down unknowingly to me. But it was that GCK, the final day of that GCK, that God revealed the plan of Satan in my life. Already, Satan have already succeeded. Even my business has been going down. But through that GCK, God exposed Satan. And right from that time till now, my business was going on. If it's not that GCK, by now I could have been a poor woman. But by God being the glory, I continue prospering. And God will continue prospering me in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. My name is Brother Max Samuel. By the grace of God, I'm saved. I just want to testify of how God restored me back to the faith. I was once saved. I backslided severally due to I was not determined about my decision to serve, serve God. I was born and brought up in deeper life, but growing up, to be a youth, I turn to my own will, to please myself, to feel among my fellow friends I was saying. And I was so wayward. Like, I got so wayward to the extent I was so addicted to hard drugs. I was selling over my mother's property just to get these things because I, most times, even when I was working, I couldn't even use my salary to do any good thing for myself. I also got involved in Yahoo fraud, cyber crime, and I lived a wayward lifestyle. Like my life was so rotten, and there were times I looked at myself. I discovered I I had no purpose for living. It was like I see that she commit suicide. But then I remember the teaching I've, we've been taught in church here. Yeah. Die if I should die in that state, I know I was going to hell. So that mind would go out of me. But I tried to change myself with self-effort. Rather, I was just going worst. I brought shame to my family, brought shame to the church. People who knew me before who go out to preach the gospel, winning souls for Christ. At, at the end of the day, they saw me with same worldly friends around. It was just so wayward. And after God used my mom to deliver me when I traveled to Ghana for a or a, a, something and used the church, the same deeper life church that I didn't want to attend. Through my mother and the church, I came back to Nigeria by the message of God. I should have died there. I had nobody there. I just went there knowing nobody, thinking I was going to make the money and everything, but I just thank God. Coming back, thinking I was going to serve God, I looked back again. And the devil was like, now I've gotten you and that will be the end. On the 24th, breaking 25th of March, a close best friend like you, I always tell you, you say you have friends. 
there is no friend like Jesus. You may say, oh, I have a friend. You know the thoughts of that person's heart towards you. That was what my mom was always telling me, but I never listened to her. I was so selfish, so hardened, but I thank God God broke it away. That same friend who I trusted who more than my own family member, trusted who more than my mom, on the 24th night, nothing happened. We were so good. Together, we were taking our hard drugs and just doing this cyber fraud online to scam clients to get money. That night, he just told me I should sleep, that I should just relax. I've been, because we don't used to sleep. Morning to night, we're always awake. I slept. Only for me to wake up was in machete on my body. And this person told me that he was going to slaughter me that night. I never knew what to do. He started accusing me of things I've not done. And to be sincere, I've been a very close friend to him. Even when other people ran away, like, because of me, my mother was praying that things should happen in that home. And things were happening. They wanted to kill this person. But among all his friends that were with him, his brothers and everybody, they all ran away. I was the only one standing with him. But I was so surprised what happened. And he tried. When he raised the machete up to hit me, you discover that it's the flat part of the machete he was using on my body. And this thing happened from around 12 in the midnight to, one, to around 6 a.m. in the morning. And how God intervened that, not knowing that, sorry, not knowing that around 11, where my mom was staying, because I stopped staying with my mom, I left her and I was going to live with a friend. Not knowing that my mom, God woke her up around 11 in the, in the night to start praying for me. And she stood on the gap for me, and I so much thank God. If not God, I should have died 24th of March this year. But God did it that from that 12 a.m. in the morning to 6 p.m., 6 a.m. in the early hours of the morning, he was not able to perform his evil work. And how God delivered me from there and I returned back home was the mercy of God. And God did it that that period was a period of GCK, the Easter retreats to stroke GCK this year. And I genuinely gave my life to Christ. And I've made up my mind. I'm not going back to the world because there's no gain. No gain. Pain, shame, sorrow, and regret. But God has given me a purpose for living. The gospel. And all that the devil has stolen away from me, he has restored hundredfold. Praise the Lord! Parents, I'll just advise you. That son, that daughter that is there, you feel they are wayward. Don't give up on them. I was worst. My mom never gave up on me. She kept on praying. Keep praying for them. They will all come to this faith and serve God even more than we are serving God in Jesus' name. Amen. Restoration for you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. By the grace of God, I'm Sister Queen Ogubie. I want to glorify the name of the Lord. Sometimes last year, I was struggling in my business, not knowing what to do. So this year, I finally stopped the business because I cannot continue because of money. So one day, I was so confused walking around. I heard that the GS preaching, so I entered, and I listened to the word of God. I continued until the program finished. The, the, the last day of the program, Daddy said, do you have problem? Your problem is finishing today. And I said, amen. So after everything, he prayed. After the prayer, I went home. Some days back, the woman I was owing 200 and something thousand called me and said, my friend, come back. I have canceled the debts. 200 and something thousand canceled because of the prayer that daddy prayed that day. And from that day, I came back to a deeper life. And I said, may the name of the Lord be glorified in the name of Jesus. Amen. Before orchestra, our medical doctors who are, there, who are around, we have many people who have been here tonight. Please report at your duty posts before they come down here. Come to where testimonies, people are lining up for testimony. Let's go back to, to online before we come back to the Alpha location. Orchestra, please.
We have those who are lined up for testimony. Tomorrow, as they are interviewed by medical doctors, they give their testimony. It's already time for us to close. We rise up now as we praise the name of the Lord, worship the Lord for what he has done already. Stand on your feet. Let's worship the Lord. Great is his faithfulness. Great is his move. Great is the anointing. The anointing that breaks the yoke. Many lives have been touched. Healings, deliverances have taken place. Thank the Lord for what he has done. Bless him, worship him, glorify him. He has done it. In Jesus' name we pray. Lord, we thank you for your goodness. We thank you, Lord, for your move. We thank you, Lord, for the anointing. We thank you, Lord, for those you have saved from their sin. We thank you, Lord, for those you have delivered from captivities. We thank you, Lord, for sickness you have taken away. Accept all our thanks and praises in Jesus' name. Lord, we ask all oh as we go now, Lord, your presence will go with every one of us. Tomorrow, we hear great things you have done. Thank you, Lord, because our need is done. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. These all our workers, you please wait behind for us to meet before we go. The meeting is ended. God bless you all. All our workers, please wait behind for us to meet before you go. Remember tomorrow.